Great job. You're right on time, Bill. Yeah, I want to get started. I got a long ride ahead of me. This is a lot of money to be transporting, Bill. Are you sure you're going to be okay? You know, you don't got any sheriffs with you. You bankers are always the same. Always worrying. <laughs> don't worry, I should be fine. I want to make it there by sunset, so I better get moving. Bill is transporting money without any escort. I better get back to the rest of the gang and let them know about this one. See ya, Bill. Good luck. Okay, see ya. I just came straight from town. Guess what I just heard? Bill is going to be heading straight by here in about two hours time with a wagon load of cash. He's headed for the First National Bank in the next town over. You're kidding me. How many of the sheriff's deputies are with him? This is the best part, boss. He's on his own. That does sound too good to be true. But all the same, let's get on our masks. We'll ambush him when he comes through. Okay boys, get ready. Here he comes. Whoa, whoa. Hey, what's going on here? What are you doing in the road? Get your hands up. This is a hold up. Mike, start unloading the cash from the wagon. What's going on here? All these bags are full of sand. There is no money. Hey boss, you better come back here and take a look at this. There's no money in these bags. What do you mean there's no money? Why would there be no money? They're from the bank, aren't they? Get your hands in the air, Mike. This is the sheriff. The sheriff? What's the sheriff doing here? Let's get out of here. Where are you boys off to in such a hurry? Did you boys really think that we'd let Bill transport Banks money on his own? Of course not, we saw Mike watching the bank. And for one sheriff, it was the McLean gang that walked into our trap. <laughs> hey, and where's Mike got off to? He took off running into the desert when I had my back turned while I was helping Bill. Don't worry, he's gonna show up. I've been chasing you boys for months now. I sure I'm glad to have you two in jail. I should have known that we were being set up. That just sounded too good to be true. Well, you two idiots should know. If something sounds too good to be true, it probably... Good morning, Sheriff. Good morning, Bill. Sheriff, I heard one of the McLean gang were spotted around town. Is that true? Yeah, it's true, Bill. Let me know if you see anything, okay? Yeah, no problem. Will do, Sheriff. I gotta head over to the bank, so I'll talk to you later, okay? Yeah, no problem, Bill. I'll see you later. Look, mister. Just take all the money you need. Just don't hurt us. Hold up right there, old timer. You just stand over in that corner and don't move. Now, come on. Get the money out of the safe before the Sheriff shows up. Okay, mister. No problem. Just take it easy. Come on, come on, and just pass the loot over this way. Okay, okay, all we got is two bags. See? This is everything we've got. Why is there only two bags? This is a bank, isn't it? There should be a lot more money than that. Um, no, not really. Everybody does their banking on a Thursday. Today's Monday. Maybe you should call back on Thursday. Oh yeah, so you can have the whole sheriff's department waiting for me. No thanks. Oh no, looks like the bank is being robbed. A bank robbery? I bet it's the McLean gang. I'll have to check the other window. I knew it. It is a member of the McLean gang. And it looks like he's holding old Bill hostage. Bill, how many bad guys are there? There's just a one, Sheriff. Hey, what's all the talk over there? Who you talking to, old timer? Yeah, I wasn't talking to anybody. I was just looking out the window. You were talking to somebody, but it doesn't matter. I'll be out of here soon with the loot. I better get out of sight. Catch him when he comes out of the bank. Nobody around. Looks like I'm home free. I'll just get my horse now and be out of here. Aw, oh, where has that horse gone? Aw, oh, there you are. Good girl. Come on, let's get out of here. McLean, hold it right there. This is the sheriff. I knew this seemed too easy. Come on, stallion. Let's get out of here. Hold it right there, McLean. <laughs> nice work, Bill. You nabbed one of the McLean gang. Yes, I did, Sheriff. In this town, we look out for each other. Maybe it's a lesson you should learn, McLean. So you were stopped by old Bill McLean. Wait till your gang hear about this. Ha ha ha, very funny, Sheriff. Yeah, but you know what is funny, McLean? It's you spending the night in jail. 
Well, McLean, I hope you think twice before you ever try and rob a bank again. My gang are going to bust me out of here, Sheriff. You wait and see. I don't think your gang will ever be busting you out of here, McLean. These are reinforced steel bars. <laughs> Hey kids, we're after arriving at the Playmobil police station. Come on, everybody off the bus. Let's go in and check out the place. Hey kids, welcome to the Playmobil police station. My name's Officer Mike, and I'll be showing you around today. Oh wow, that's great Officer Mike. Do we get to see the cells where you keep the prisoners? I can show you the cells where we keep the prisoners, but you can't annoy the prisoners. They're gonna be here for many, many years. Ah, we won't annoy them. And what else can we see? Do we get to see all the guns? Ah, uh, I don't know about seeing guns today, kids. I'll show you the cabinet where we keep the guns. Oh, wow. And can you turn on the siren on your police car? You kids wanna do everything. Look, let's just get inside and we'll see what we're gonna do today, okay? Hey Irene, these kids are here on a school tour. Do you want to tell them something fun about being a police officer? Yeah, yeah, I'd love to hear what it's like to be a police officer. Do you ever arrest somebody? Do you ever put somebody in jail? Whoa, 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 that's a, that's a lot of questions, kid. One, one question at a time. Yeah, well, I have arrested people and I have put people in jail. There's actually people in this jail right now. Oh, wow, that's so cool. Well, do you guys want to see the rest of the police station? Do you want to see where we photograph the criminals when we take them here? Yeah, sure, that'd be awesome. Okay, kids. And this is where we take the criminals after we've arrested them. We need to take their photograph over here. You can see the camera there. And then their picture will come up on the big screen just up over your heads. Oh wow, that's cool. Can we get our pictures taken? Yeah, sure. Why don't one of you hop in and someone can take their picture? Oh, whoa, yeah, I definitely want to get my picture taken. Yeah, I'll go first, I'll go first. Hey, make sure you get a great picture of me. Look at me, I'm a criminal. Okay, Billy, stand still. And here kids, we have all the files and all the prisoners that we keep in the jail here. These are three of the worst criminals. We've got Larry the robber, Vinny the bike thief, and Simon the car thief. Okay guys, well that's the end of the tour. Who liked it anyway? Yeah, I thought it was fantastic. Wow, this place is great. I want to be a cop when I'm older. Well, you guys just gotta study hard in school and be good for your parents. Now come on, let's get back out to your school bus. Okay kids, see you later. Yeah, see you later Officer Mike. Hey guys, welcome to PI Toys. Today we're going to be checking out this Playmobil City Life School Bus. It's for ages 4 plus. It's Playmobil set number 5680 and it comes with 12 pieces. So let's check this out. We can see the bus is part of the Playmobil City Life range. Oh cool, and the bus comes with some flashing lights too. And it comes with these four characters. Looks like we got a bus driver and we've got three different children. One kid he's after getting off the bus, the other kid is just getting off the bus and the other one doesn't want to get off the bus. I don't know, maybe she doesn't want to go to school. And this is everything out of the box, guys. There's the three children. Well, here's the first kid. Looks like she's got some green shoes on her. She's got her black clothes with a, it looks like holly, green holly there on her front of her t-shirt. And we gave her the green backpack with the, with the yellow pack inside. This also comes apart here at the back. So we can actually remove the backpack from each of the kids. So these backpacks, can actually remove so we can but we can put them on one of the other children if we'd like to then we got the second kid we in most of our stories we actually call this guy Billy so he's became known as Billy we actually don't have any names for these two so if anybody can think of any names for either of these kids who knows we use them we could use those names in future stories so we've got a girl we need to name so if anyone can think of a girl's name for this girl that'd be fantastic we can use that in the stories and we've also got this other boy. So if anyone can think of a boy's name and a girl's name, we'd be happy to hear any suggestions and we can use those in uh, future stories. So back to Billy. He's got his uh, brown sandals. He's got his green and yellow t-shirt. It's a surfer's t-shirt. And we gave Billy the blue backpack. The backpacks are fairly easy to remove. Just push the top of it here. Just. And the backpack is off. And there's Billy's backpack. We also gave him the red little pouch in a, on the blue backpack. Looks fairly cool together, doesn't it? The red and the blue. And Billy's wearing the sandals, his blue shorts, and his t-shirt. And then we got this last kid who has the blue and white striped t blue and white striped t-shirt with the greeny, greeny sleeves. And we gave him a red backpack with the uh, kind of creamy, browny pouch. 
He's also got on a blue pants and some white shoes there. So there's the last kid from the range. And then we've got the bus driver who's wearing the red hat. He's got the brown jacket and a tweed looking uh, jumper there, the v-neck jumper. It looks like he's got a white t-shirt on underneath. And he's got the blue pants and the black shoes. He's got his cool blonde hair there also. The, his hat can come off, so you can put it on and off. Now we'll put on back to front. Now it looks, uh, looks a little bit cooler there with his hat on backwards. And we push the kids and the bus driver to the side and then onto the main part, which is the school bus. So if you press the top, there's a black button up here on the very top. You can see it here, so if we press that black button, we can see the lights. Come on, we'll turn off the turn down the lights in the studio here, and you'll be able to see these a little bit better. And those are the lights on the school bus. We can also see the lights are also on the back of the school bus for any traffic that's approaching from the back. Then you can see the school bus has got the Playmobil license plate, PM5940. That's the license plate it has. And you can see after a while the lights go off on the front of the bus, so uh, you, I guess you don't waste all your batteries. So you just turn them lights off there. No, go off, go off, off. No, no, they don't seem to want to go off. Then we've also got the stop sign on the side of the bus to stop any traffic that's uh, approaching. You can see this says stop on the front and the back. So either way, cars will see the stop sign. It's easy to take off the roof. You just, there's a little grip under here. So we can just pull it off there. And this is inside our school bus. So we can see we've got some seats here. We've got a seat here for the bus driver. And we've also got a seat, four seats along this side. And we have another three seats along that side. The extra seat there, or there's no seat here because that's where the school bus door will open. So you have on this side you have the school bus door, it opens and closes. Just for the kids to get on. Start putting our characters into the bus. We've got our bus driver. He's in there already, so let's get the three kids. And we can just sit them right behind the bus driver in their seats. So I've got one of the kids in there. Now we'll stick the other ones in. We'll put Billy here in the middle seat. And we'll put the third kid, we'll take his backpack off so he sits down a little bit better. So his backpack is off. So we've got the third kid and he's gonna sit down right there behind Billy. So we've got our girl in the front, Billy in the middle and our third kid who still needs a name is in the back. So make sure you just leave the name for those kids in the comments and who knows, we'll use them in future stories. So we put the roof back on the school bus, turn on the lights and the school bus is on its way off to school. 